the fuck? What the fuck? And learn. Okay, so we're going to do a mad video game review on the classic retro gambling video games. Here we go. Okay, so we're going to talk about the NES title, Casino Kid. Now, of course, when the title and the music pops up, it's not a bad intro, I have to admit. And the options you have underneath, it shows New Game and Saved Game. I like how the text basically lights up, like neon lights, kind of, and changes colors. It makes you feel like you're in Las Vegas, you know? There you go. Interesting way we transition, there you go. Toughest gamblers are here to compete with you. Beat them in poker. Beat the casino in blackjack. Then your ultimate rival will accept your challenge. Good luck, Casino Kid. What? Okay, what the fuck is this shit? It looks like something off Final Fantasy. Except you're not fighting monsters and leveling up. No, with this kind of game, you're wandering around a casino. It's like, what? The fuck is, I can't find out where the fuck to go on this game. I try to ask people and they tell me other things. Don't forget this password. What kind of bullshit is this? Why do I need a password? Okay, and she waits by. What the fuck? Usually if you get a password in a game, that usually pops up on the start menu, doesn't it? Why the fuck is it in the middle of the game that you're playing right now? Makes no damn sense, does it? And what the fuck? Why the fuck does she look like Zelda a fucking Legend of Zelda? Maybe I just have too much Zelda on my mind, right? Okay, so now back to the game. I'm fucking running around the casino not knowing where the fuck to go. And look at all this stuff I gotta go through. All these barriers and... Looks like damn palm trees. Stefan can't hide his emotion? What the fuck does this have to do with the damn game? If he can't hide his emotion, what the fuck's he talking about? And why is it a casino kid? I thought kids weren't supposed to play in casinos. They're too young for this stuff, aren't they? What the fuck? Okay, now we get to this guy. He says, Martha's face is... Fuck. Readable? <laughs> really? <laughs> then when we get to the dealer, this is what he says. Yeah, finally a car dealer. I have better things to do, punk. Okay, what kind of shit is that? He doesn't let me play a game at all? Am I the casino kid or what? He should give me access to all the games here I can play. Oh, and this guy says, hey, dude. Okay, and are we gonna play? What the fuck? Okay, another thing I don't understand, when you try to talk to these dealers, why the fuck can't I see his face? Why is he all dark? It's like he's unknown or something? But of course on the picture, when you talk to him, you can see what his face looks like. It's like, really? How come it has to be so secretive? What, is the kid doing something wrong? Is he stealing? What's going on here? But I guess it makes sense because kids shouldn't be playing in casinos, right? So there you go. And what the fuck? Why does the kid look like Luke from fucking Star Wars? Yeah, I guess I have too much Star Wars on the mind too, right? There you go. Then you would think you can play these slot machines, but no, you can't do shit. Oh, yeah, I tried looking at and doing that one. Nope, doesn't do nothing. So what's the point of having slot machines if you can't do anything? Oh, yeah, I forgot. He's a oh. kid. And now, by the way, I finally find a dealer that's going to deal cards for me. Yeah, watch this. And this is what they say on the screen. All right, well at least I can do something with one of these dealers finally. Oh, and it's a female on there. A winning blackjack will be paid three to two. It's like, what the fuck? 
You're betting too little. It's like, another thing you don't, is kind of weird about this game, it's like, even if I bet, oh, you know, the right amount, I don't lose that much in this game. It amazes me. I still keep winning. Well, I guess that's why they'll call it the Casino Kid, because you could never lose, right? Well, in this game, yeah, you never lose that much, as much as you bet. It's like, okay, I guess if you bet more than that amount, then maybe you'll lose everything, but... You never fucking lose, and this gets so annoying and boring as shit. I don't even want to play this game anymore. It is so fucking shitty. And it's like, you know, I want to go play the slot machines, but they won't even let you do that. And I gotta do this fucking car dealing shit? Oh yeah, that's what I have to do. Oh. And why do I need insurance for this shit? If, she, if he's a kid, uh... Why does a kid need insurance to play cards? Especially if he's a kid. He's too young to frickin' gamble, you stupid idiots! And she says, I'm good, ain't I? Yeah, I guess. Now look at what's her face. Look at what it turns into. What the fuck? No eyeballs? Now that is some scary shit. And I do mean scary. Okay, so now we're getting on to Casino Kid 2. It's probably much as worse as the first one. Here we go. I like the transition where it starts out with the American flags and they fade in. But, yeah, the title is still better on the first one. And you can either select new game or save game. What the fuck do I gotta have a save game? I guess if you need to save it somewhere. Okay, here we go. Of course I like a little bit of the action cutscene where it says, Almost one year has passed since the casino kid defeated all the gamblers in the United States to win a million dollars. And of course you go to this map it shows on your screen it shows a world map of all the countries with the flags. So the kid will be transferred to that exact flag of that country where the game will begin in that exact location. So this map it shows on your screen and a coin that goes directly to that country where that flag is stationed. Oh, now I'm going to Africa. Of course I like the plane animation. I think that's fucking awesome. And it says on the screen, you have arrived at Nigeria. All right, this game keeps getting, what? What kind of stupid shit is this? And yet you thought you were gonna be a casino. At least the first one, you can actually see you're in a casino in this one, you don't see anything. You just go right to the game. It's like, isn't this supposed to be called Casino Kid? Why am I not in a casino? Oh, they just don't want to show it anymore because they thought it was pretty dull, I guess. But this is more labor than shit. Because what kind of idiot makes a game like this at the same time you never lose? Unless you use up all your money, I guess. But this is boring. I'm sorry, I cannot play this shit no more. Okay, I am done. I don't care. This game's fucking lame as shit. Okay, time for something different. Here we go. We're gonna play Mr. Gimmick. Okay, so here we are. We're playing Mr. Gimmick. And of course, the title's interesting. I like the map. It shows a heart coming out of a square portal. Okay, and then you have stars all around you. This reminds me of some other game. What is that called? Oh yeah, Kirby's Dreamland. That's what it reminds me of. Anyway, even Kirby's Dreamland's better than this fucking shit. So, anyway, moving on. Okay, so now we get to another game for the NES called Caesar's Palace. Okay, so now we get the title screen of Caesar's Palace, and then you see a taxi cab take you to the casino. All right, and then you talk to this woman right here. Okay, uh, yeah. This is interesting. You don't see a person, but you see a cursor you gotta move around with an arrow just to go anywhere. At the minute, the graphics are okay, but not that good. And what's this? The restroom? What the fuck? 
I'm using a woman's restroom. What? I guess I can use both restrooms, right? Let's see. Well, I know I can go to the women's restroom. Can I go to the men's? Let's see. You gotta be kidding me. Who the fuck puts this in a game? Who the fuck puts this shit in the game? It's like they're trying to turn the kids into perverts. Oh yeah, and I just left. Now leaving Las Vegas. Okay, why did I leave? Oh yeah, and now I gotta start over again. All right, so I go back to the taxi cab, talk to this woman in the lobby, whatever, and now I'm back to the PC mouse kind of cursor. Arrow looks green. Oh yeah, it tells me how hot it is right now. Well, if I wanted to see that, I might as well just watch the weather report. Okay, so here we go. Alright, I guess I'll play the slot machine. How much can I win? Let's see. Let's put some money in and check it. Alright, I put my money in there. And here we go. Let's see if we win any money. Eh. That doesn't look like one shit. Keep going. Are we gonna win? No. Didn't win shit. Keep going. It's just like regular gambling. You gamble your way to debt and you now can't get yourself out of it. This is a good way to keep yourself occupied when it comes to your gambling habit. You play this game, you'll be on it for the whole day. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna hit that handle. Oh. Winner. Oh, I won some money. Wow. I won. I, okay, I got $450. Alright, let's play again. Uh, okay. I won $450. Okay, now let's go to one of these tables. Alright, let's go to one of these dealers. Let's see what happens here. Okay, let's see. Let's click on one of them. Oh, here we go. Uh, okay, what the fuck do I do here? I click on one of these tables, they look like they're fucking empty. Where the fuck are the people at? Oh, by the way, it looks like nobody's there. I'm just playing some freaking machine or something, I don't know. Although I like how it says bet, and I don't know what the fuck I'm doing here, so it's like, okay, what do I do? I just put this here? Oh, okay, I, yeah, I guess I do that. Oh, alright, alright, let's put that on top of that one. Oh boy, this game is just... I mean, this game is kind of supposed to be realistic, like a regular casino. And it's just like a regular casino, except there's no people inside the fucking casino! And I'm just playing a computer. I don't know. But I love using the cursor, because it makes it easier to get around. I don't have to worry about not figuring out where to go. But either way, this game is fucking lame as shit. Okay, now time to try... Las Vegas Cool Hand for Game Boy Color. Here we go. Okay, I like the title on the screen. Oh, that is an awesome transition. Get all these games to choose from. Blackjack, Solitaire, and Cribbage. And music on and off. So you can turn the music off and on if you want, which is awesome. Now I'm playing Blackjack. First bet. Or place bet, I mean. Okay, so you got to raise your bet up. The graphics look pretty good, but the guy's head looks like a damn lemon. Although I like how when you can place the bets, it will let you know that when you do it, you can play the game. Hit or stab. Bust it. And the other question is, um, so how do you know if you're winning? Well, you find out pretty much in a certain part of this game. It says you win, that means you win money. And right now I won about a little bit more than I had. So there you go. It adds up. If you lose, you basically decrease your money in the bankroll. And wow, look at that money go fast. One thing I like about this, at least you don't win constantly. It's more realistic that way, actually, in my opinion. I also like how you have a dealer, at least, where he hands you the cards. Unlike the other games I've played already, they don't even show a fucking dealer handing you the card. 
So this game kind of does make some sense out of all the rest of the games I've played already. So there you go. Okay, so let's play another game. Uh, the music's not too bad. Let's play Solitaire. Now, is it like the Solitaire at home? Yeah, I would say so. But I don't consider it much of a gambling type game. But it is. But usually I would think this game you would just play by yourself or with a friend. Other than yes, it is still a gambling game, what it says in this game. But, yeah. Let's go on to another one. Here we go. Okay, so let's play Cribbage. Here we go. Shuffling. Now this game would pretty much represent a game that I would say could belong in the casino. Other than, yeah. It's an okay game if you feel like playing games like this, but me, I'm just like, yeah, I, I like the idea, the graphics look nice, but I'm not really into card games that much right now, so we're moving on, but yes, so far this is a very good game. I'm very impressed by Game Boy Color on here. There you go. Okay, so we're moving on to Solitaire Fun Pack for Game Boy, and we're going to Klondike. Okay, this game, sorry to say it, but this game is interesting. If you're into the idea of playing a game for Game Boy, this is your game. Other than, I would say, this game is not that good, but it's okay to make. Other than that music, it's fucking annoying. I mean, come on now, playing the music like that can make anyone lose their mind on this game. It's so horrible. Luckily, you can change the music. I hate how this is. You can't make that move there. See, what I don't like about this is they don't tell you what the fuck to do on this shit. That's why you don't know what the hell to do. So I guess if you look at the instructions, or maybe a strategy guide, it will tell you. Hey, you do it this way. Okay, better than this game's fucking shit. It's okay. The graphics are fucking lame. And that music is fucking annoying. But the second music tune is okay. There you go. Okay, so we're going to be talking about casino games for Sega Master System. Here we go. Well, I like the animation. The music's pretty awesome in this game. It says casino games in the middle. I like how it fades out. That's awesome. Please give your name within 10 characters. Mr. or Miss. Obviously, it's going to be Mr. Here we go. Let me put a name in right now. Okay, the thing I have a problem with this game is how come they didn't make the line below longer? Because what happens if I want to put a last name in here, not just a first? And what I don't understand is why can't they allow me to put more letters in here? And yet I try to put my name in, and it's fucking ridiculous. It's so annoying. So I'll just put anything, I guess. Because I can't put the whole name in there that I want. So here we go. Okay, and then you have the receptions come up for information. It's welcome, Mr. Mad Video, whatever. Tour account number, please enter it. It's like, what the fuck? Why do I need a fucking number? Uh, sorry, but tour account numbers incorrect what the fuck it says I see you have five hundred dollars now to play the game what the fuck so which game should I play card game slot machine pinball well let's try a card game poker blackjack uh, baccarat whatever the fuck all right let's try uh, names I can choose are you kidding me dick okay I guess we'll play dick all right and of course it shows a table with two people playing cards. What the fuck? Why aren't they dealing cards? What kind of bullshit is this? And why is it the color of the shirts are different, but the designs are, are the frickin' same? How you gotta be making a game like this? What the fuck? 
Okay. The card game is pretty nice. The graphics aren't too bad. But it looks like Casino Kid. Totally. Alright. Next game. Okay, so let's select slot machine. Here we go. One dollar, five dollars, twenty-five dollars, fifty dollars, a hundred. Okay, we're gonna put a hundred. Let's see if we can win more money. So the more you put in, how much will we win? Let's see. Well, looks like I might hit the jackpot. Oh, fuck. Are you kidding me? Okay. What kind of shit? Well, I know I lost that game. Okay, so let's try our luck with pinball. Here we go. Middle, steep, gentle. That was not bad. Looks like a pinball machine. Okay. Uh, yeah. This is some lame ass shit. I'm sorry. This is fucking lame. A tilt. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, here we go again. I mean, the graphics aren't bad. On the game itself, it's just... It makes no fucking sense! Okay, I lost. Okay, let's try again. It's like... I'm betting on my luck to see if I can actually win in this game. Uh, yeah, the ball got stuck. Okay, here we go. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna hit it up. Oh, okay. It hits against those. What the... Are you kidding me? Come on now! Just like playing a regular pinball machine. Alright, here we go. Are we gonna win this? Oh, it went back to the start. Alright, there we go. Shoot it out. Okay. Uh, looks like we're doing pretty good with our score. Not bad. It's going up pretty... Oh, fuck. All right, here we go again. We're going to try this again. Okay, yep, we got ball two. All right, ball two. Okay, here we go. All right. Oh, what kind of shit is that? Oh, you got to be kidding me. Oh, oh you got to be kidding me. Ass! Oh, obviously, I didn't make that one either. Oh, here we go. Let's try it again. <sighs> At least I am pretty much getting a good score on this game, though. But I don't understand. What's the point of this? Okay. Steep. Let's try steep, I guess. Uh. Okay. That's fucking shit. Uh. What else? Information? Would you like to continue the game? No, because this game is a bunch of crap. And we're going to continue with another game. Here we go. Okay, so now we get to Vegas Stakes for Super Nintendo. Here we go. Okay, so we're playing Vegas Stakes for Super Nintendo. I love the music and the intro is not too bad. Alright, Vegas Adventure. Let's go to Vegas Adventure. Okay, so here we go. We're going to start the game. Well, basically, I like how it shows the car animation in the background and the people talking below. Not bad. Graphics are definitely improved on here compared to what I saw on Casino Kid. And uh, I like how it's an interesting story. Uh, this is pretty cool. Although we're going to see what the game is like all together. Okay, of course it's all this reading and talking. It's like, okay, let's just get to the game. Come on now. It's like, alright, fine. Okay, here we go. Okay, the car dries off and transitions. Alright. Again, I have to admit, graphics are pretty good. Definitely improved on here. Um, although, I don't see anything, any problem with this. So I gotta put this name in, that's gonna be a pain in the ass. Other than here we go. And Okay. Oh yeah, this is freaking awesome. You even get a whole to hotel room. And you talk to all these other people. 
and you gotta call them and see if they're gonna come play a game with you. It's ringing. Okay, so you have all these other games to choose from. Alright, we're in the casino now. Select game, exit casino, return to the room. I can play blackjack, roulette, slots. Alright, blackjack. Here we go. Yeah, graphics are freaking awesome. Even shows the hand animation of the person dealing to you. Not bad for a game. Although, yeah. <laughs> Can we get to another game? Here we go. Okay, so let's try another one. Uh, let's see. Slots. Roulette. Craps. Oh, God. Let's try slots. Slot machine. Okay, should I bet? Let's see. A dollar, five dollars, twenty-five. What, fifty? I guess we'll go with fifty. Yeah. This is freaking awesome! The graphics are definitely awesome on this game. Yes, and I got a... looks like a jackpot. Awesome. Want a lot of money there. Huh. And one little bit there. Damn, this is freaking awesome. I can keep playing this for fucking ever. Huh. Never lose. Okay, someone says you have a spot on your shirt. What the fuck? Okay, next game. Are you kidding me? Who cares if I have a spot on my shirt? Okay, select another game. Um, let's see. Craps. Blackjack. Uh, let's just try, uh, roulette. Yeah. This game's fucking awesome. Only thing I noticed is where's all the other players? Yeah. They did it again, didn't they? Oh, the graphics are fucking awesome. Yeah, I love it. Next game. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna play a game called Craps. Yeah. Might as well just take a crap on this game. That'll do some good for it. Alright, here we go. Alright. So, yeah. It's all the same, you know. You just freaking move a cursor around like usual. I don't understand where the fuck the people are at. Why didn't they put people at least in the background somewhere? And they show a table with a fucking cursor. What kind of shit is that? Alright, next game. That's a load of crap right there, I'll tell you that. Okay, so last game on our list is poker. Or you mean poke her? No, poker. Alright, here we go, we're gonna play poker. Alright. Well, at least they show the people's picture on the screen and it shows animation of their mouth movement and stuff. And it shows some hands, you know, dealing out the cards. So that's somewhat interesting. Yeah. This game is... Uh, just a bunch of... Yeah. That's what I was about to say. Shit. Here we go. Call it. And I call it shit. Well, I noticed the phone must be ringing. I might as well go check it out. Hello, this is Mad Video Gamer. Uh huh. Yeah. Sounds great. Alright. 
Yeah. Uh huh. All right. You're going to pay for my round trip ticket. Okay. I see. Okay. Yeah. Sounds great. I'll be. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. So you enjoy the show? You enjoy my show on YouTube? Oh, really? Okay. All right. Sounds interesting. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh huh. All right. See you in Vegas. So yes, I just got a call from someone in Vegas telling me to show up the Mad Video Gamer performance in Las Vegas. Las Vegas, here we come. Okay, so they want me to perform at Royal Queen's Casino and Hotel. Here we go. Royal Queen's Casino Hotel is proudly to present a well-known figure. And you might know him. He's famous on YouTube. We thought we can have him perform here live in front of you guys here in Las Vegas. And here he is. Mad Video Gamer. And none. So anyway, you know, here I am, Mad Video Gamer. I'm sure you guys enjoy what I do, right? Love what I do. But at the same time, you know, I, I just do this for entertainment purposes, you know. I never ever came to a live performance with an audience as big as here. But again, thank you guys for watching. Enjoy the show. Gotta be kidding. What the fuck is this shit? <laughs> what the fuck? My bullshit is this. What the fuck is that? You gotta be kidding. What a bunch of bullshit. Take that, you fucking duck. And then I'd say this, take that, take that, and this. And then of course, you know, I, I do all kinds of interesting things, you know. Um, so when I perform, 
I do all kinds of interesting aspects to my show. Like I put all kinds of other special effects into it, you know, just to make it look really cool. Um, and then, you know, uh, I really love entertaining people. That's what I do. Like I'll take this controller. Sometimes I'll use this. Sometimes I'll use other controllers too, just to do my stuff. And you know, I always try to have the classic retro kind of outcome, you know? Because that's what makes the thing interesting in that concept. So there you go. But either way, it's like when you're doing a game review, you're inside that adventure. And it's very interesting to kind of, you know, be in that retrospect. And you know, I always love doing what I do because uh, that's what I find interesting. Like I said, you know, I do a map reading review. I just say, hello, it's, uh, I just say this like this. So we're gonna do a map reading review on this video game. And I put it up on the screen. You'll see, boom. And then uh, I allow the audience to see more of what I do. They love it. Um, I make some funny gestures with great commentary. I make people laugh. A lot of people tell me that they love what I do, and I appreciate that. And I say thank you to all the people that watch my show. Other than, yeah, you know, this has been a big dream all along. But thank you guys for all your endorsement. Thank you for your support. You guys are what makes Mad Video Gamer the best show on YouTube. All right, there you go. You guys are what makes Mad Video Gamer the best show on YouTube. There you go. There you go. So anyway, thank you all for coming. I appreciate it. I um, just wanted to say, you know, continue to support this show. I hope it will make you inspired and it will inspire all generations to do the same when they make their own content, just like I've been doing. My inspiration comes from James Rolfe, a very great YouTuber. So I'll never forget what he has done to get me this far because for what he's done, he's inspired more commentators in the entire world and in this, on this earth, or say the country, that anything is possible if you just keep doing what you do and try your best. Work hard at it and you can accomplish anything. No doubt about it, that's the truth. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Or let's hear it for the Matthew Gaber. Let's hear it for the Matthew Or let's hear it for the Matthew Well, I must have been dreaming. It was all a dream. The show's over. It's the fuck! What the fuck? Yeah. The nun.